hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this mtv logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in adobe after effect as always as always we will create a new composition and we will name it as main animation width i will choose 1920 and height is 180 frame rate is 30 seconds duration is also 30 seconds and background color i will choose white color but you are free to choose any color you want i will choose white color and hit ok now i will hit ctrl i on keyboard to import our logo file you will easily get this logo on google or anywhere else and we will simply select this logo and we will hit import and we will drag this logo in our main composition press s for scaling option and scale it at the appropriate size you want just like that now make sure to make this layer into 3d and instead of active camera i'll go to the left and i'll move it just a little bit over here hit ctrl d again and i'll move this thing over here now after that right click new and create one null object and also make sure that you are converting this layer into 3d zoom in a little bit and bring this null object in between these two layers which are in 3d now i'll go to the active camera again and i'll make this thing into fit now select both the layers and make it apparent with this null one now select this null one press r for rotation create one keyframe on y position and make it somewhere like let's say minus 90 and create one keyframe and go to around two seconds make this zero or let's say one so if we hit play we will get this kind of animation now select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here now if we hit play we will get this kind of rotating animation now there is another thing we need to do if I select this thing, I'll go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply fill effect on it. Search for fill effect in effect and presets panel and select this fill and simply double click on it. As we can see, it's getting red. But instead of red, you're, I'll choose something like that and hit OK. Now behind that, it's a black color, but we don't want black color. So I'll select this, hit fill and you are free to choose again any color you want i'll choose somewhere like this and hit ok so if we hit play we will get this kind of simple animation now select this null object and go to the around one second and move this over here by using open square bracket hit ctrl a to select all the key uh, i mean layers Press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call this composition as logo animation and hit OK. Hit Ctrl N to create a new composition. I'll call it as map and hit OK. Press Ctrl Y to create a solid BG. And now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for ramp effect, which is our gradient ramp. So type ramp over here. You will automatically create in generate gradient ramp. Simply double click and swap these colors. Again go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect. Select this mosaic and double click on it. I'll increase the vertical blocks to around let's say 20 for now. Now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and simply select this map and drag and drop in our main composition and hide this. Select this logo animation layer. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement and simply double click on it. And now if I hit play. As you can see we are getting something like that this is because we haven't mapped yet so in time displacement layer we will choose this map layer and now if I hit play we will get this kind of cool looking logo reveal over here just like that hit ctrl A to select all the layers press ctrl shift C and I'll call it as logo hit ctrl d few times let's say four times select the last layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and i'll apply this fill 
select this third one apply fill again and instead of red color i'll choose green color and hit ok for the third one i'll apply fill effect again and i'll choose something like dark blue color again hit ctrl d again and i'll delete this fill i'll apply find edges effect on it and make sure that you are inverting this and after that hit page down button one time select this fourth one and choose open square bracket again hit page down button select this third layer page and move it over here hit page down button again and choose open bracket again hit page down button open bracket and now if i hit play we'll get this kind of cool looking logo reveal over here just like that now right click create one null object select all the layers and make it parrot with this null select this null press s for scaling option create one keyframe over here go around let's see i'll move this keyframe over here and at this point i'll decrease the scale size select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here so if i hit play now we'll get this scaling animation also just like that hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c to copy them and hit ctrl d press s unlink this option make sure that you are using minus 100 over here press p again and bring it down just like that select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it and make sure that you are choosing black color press s again and instead of minus 100 i'll choose something like that and go to the effect and presets panel and type blur and search for gaussian blur apply it and i'll increase the blurriness something like that also decrease the scale somewhere around like and increase the blurriness press t for opacity and decrease the opacity if i hit play now choose quarter resolution if it's getting something like that and instead of black color you are free to choose any color you want for the shadow i'll choose something bluish and whitish mixture press p for position and bring it over here like that this looks good to me press ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid background drag it down go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect again and we will apply this gradient ramp again on this white layer simply double click swap these colors sorry swap these colors and instead of black color i'll choose something like that choose bluish complexion of this white like that and hit ok so yep this is our final logo reveal of this mtv logo just like that So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.